Todd Phillips has already gone on record saying, you are not getting Joker 3, we are not making it. And of course, as soon as he says that, the conspiracy mill has to take this in the most insane direction. So why is Joker 3 not happening? Well, you probably saw the title. Of course, it's because it's James Gunn's fault. It has to be. It's always James Gunn's fault. You got diarrhea? James Gunn's fault. It's gotta be. What else could it be? Okay, say it with me. Joker 2 was never supposed to happen. It was a one and done film. They talked about this the entire press round to the first film. They only greenlit a sequel because the first one made so much money, unexpectedly made so much money. They internally thought that the film was going to make about 250 to 300 million dollars, and the analysts were saying 350 tops. When it passed a billion, they saw the opportunity to greenlight a sequel and make one. They have gone on record saying we're not doing Joker 3. Now maybe they will, if the second film does another billion plus. But again, who knows? So the fact that people are now blaming James Gunn on Joker 3 not happening, when Todd Phillips said, what more can we say with Joker that we haven't said in these two films, is kind of insane and absolutely dumb. But at the same time, why does everything become James Gunn's fault? Like, why wouldn't he want this film to succeed and a potential sequel? Because that just makes the DC brand stronger. And he's in charge of DC. Like, him and Peter Safran are running that company. If things start to fail, it's over. If Joker 2 does good and they pitch a third one, of course he's going to say, go make it. Because it might pull another billion dollars and sustain the studio. Because... If WB isn't making money, they're going to be shuffled around and sold, and who knows where James Gunn and Safran are going to end up. It's in their best interest to do this. Now, I saw some people saying, well, he's doing this because he's going to introduce his own Joker in Batman, or in Batman Brave and the Bold. Okay, but if you're using that logic, then technically Joker 2 shouldn't be happening because Matt Reeves established the Joker in his Batman as well. And that's competing franchises. And then people are saying, well, there's too many Jokers. That's why. No, guys, no. That's not it. It's in everybody's best interest to make a third one if they want a third one. But chances are Todd Phillips is probably a little sick of doing the same thing. He wants to go and maybe flex some other muscle. I wouldn't be surprised if he agreed to do Joker 2 if they give him a couple passion projects that he's going to go do. Because that's what directors do. Even James Gunn did that. So, don't believe any of James Gunn is preventing Joker 3. It's Todd Phillips saying no Joker 3. Because he's literally the one that said it.